Hi, everybody. Michael Alone here with the IEEE again. Uh, looking forward to our big event coming up in 2021, June. We are very excited about this. And we've got some awesome people here from Qualcomm. We've got Ting Fang and Bin, who are wireless R&D people and senior director management of Qualcomm. So I wanted to ask them a little bit about what they're going to be talking about and understand, you know, why should we go and why should we watch? Because there's some really exciting things happening in the industry. So uh, Ting Fang, if you would like to go first and tell us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about and, and what's down the pipe. Sure. Uh, my topic will be uh, 5G and AI. And uh, I think both of these technologies has, um, has been uh, really uh, trendy in the last few years. And both of them are changing our world, actually. On the 5G side, you know, this is uh, not only a technology for smartphones, but this is uh, also technology for industrialities, for personal area network, uh, for sensor and all the other technologies that, that's going to be connected uh, with this uh, wireless fabric. At the same time, AI, um, you know, is uh, making our life uh, uh, a lot easier, just like, uh, the, you know, the Amazon Echo and uh, many other smart devices for, you know, computer vision and audio processing. So what's the intersection between these two technologies? So that's uh, going to be my topic. And uh, on one hand, I'll uh, discuss how AI is actually making 5G better because 5G uh, is a um, complicated technology and uh, there are still some room for improvement. For example, that uh, uh, when we design 5G, we use certain mathematical models. Those models does not necessarily match our you know, actual propagation channels very well. And um, you know, AI is perfect to actually use the data to drive this modeling and uh, give you a better design. At the same time, 5G can also make AI better because most of the AI we currently have are actually sitting in the cloud, sitting in a server somewhere. And uh, fundamentally, when you have that, uh, what's going to happen is uh, uh, you have to send a lot of data to the server. And if you don't have connectivity, the AI may not be worked that well. So what 5G can do is actually connect your device and uh, the cloud the mobile device you have. Right? If you have a phone with a Snapdragon in it, actually will have on-chip, not only it has a 5G modem, it will have an on-chip um, you know, AI functionality. So it will split the artificial intelligence or machine learning tasks into this uh, peripheral or on-device AI and the edge cloud or deep cloud AI. So it will 5G will enable you to optimally partition these tasks. So AI become more efficient, more power efficient. So your battery lasts longer. And even if you, you know, connectivity to deep cloud has too much latency, 5G, because of lower latency, can also make the functionality better. So that will be the theme of my uh, talk. And uh, I'll give you a few interesting examples on exactly what type of uh, experiments we have done. And uh, there are some interesting results. And hopefully... Oh, secrets. <laughs> <laughs> no more. <laughs> no more. No, of course. Well, if there's anyone who knows about low latency uh, and the lack of it, it's somebody who lives in Canada like me. So I totally uh, <laughs> I totally am excited about that. All right. So moving on then, I guess, Ben, your, your topic intersects quite nicely with that. So tell me a little bit about it and what you're talking about. Sure. We're going to talk about Wi-Fi. I think we love saying Wi-Fi now is an essential part of people's life. As my kids simply put it, he cannot live without Wi-Fi. That's basically just there with the power with water, with food, with air. So as you know, Qualcomm is very famous for its 5G technology leadership. And also in the wireless R&D, we are also contribute significantly to the Wi-Fi technology innovations. Currently, the Wi-Fi mostly people use in the market is called Wi-Fi 6, which is developed from IEEE based 11AX. But as you know, people keep evolving. As you just said, at home, people, this pandemic, use Wi-Fi to communicate with people, do gaming, and more and more have demand put in the Wi-Fi. So we are trying to develop the new next generation Wi-Fi. IEEE currently have a new task group working on this, this project called uh, 8.11 be okay, which is the future Wi-Fi 7. 
Because of this, in this ICC uh, 2021, we're going to have industry forum on this next generation Wi-Fi. Okay. So if you look at beyond the current one you have, Wi-Fi nowadays we can provide very high bandwidth, high throughput, but people still have more demand of it as a video, as talking, as working. So people want more, more throughput and also more guaranteed service. As you mentioned, the latency, reliability, all these kind of things. So in the Wi-Fi 7, which is the next generation Wi-Fi, we're going to address these issues. We're going to go at all the different parts, how to improve further improve the throughput, how to make improve the, the latency, as you mentioned, and also reliabilities. Okay. So there will be a lot of interesting ideas about this direction. We also also going to brief uh, the people about what's currently happening in the A2.11 B project. In the same time, this industry forum, we're going to talk with other panelists about what's the trend of industry and also hear from the people about where the need, your wish about the future Wi-Fi so they can make together to make the Wi-Fi even better for us. So come yeah. to this panel. Let's all work together to make Wi-Fi even better. That's it. And, you, you know, you touched on the great point there, which is, you know, we've got to come together. We've got to really work together because... We, we are so siloed now, even more so during the pandemic, and we have to take these opportunities to collaborate and, and churn some ideas from one brain to the other, because otherwise we're not going to come up with new things. We're just going to be in the same little boxes. And if the Wi-Fi isn't working that well in those boxes, it'll be even worse. Yeah. So that's uh, fantastic. Thank you so much for uh, joining me today, gentlemen. And we look forward to seeing all of you at uh, the IEEE Summit we're having upcoming because it is going to be fantastic. We have a lot of really, really awesome things to come and more clips like this, more teasers like this with lots of other great companies. So take care, everybody, and have a great day. Yeah, see you 2021 ICC.